Hey guys, I'm back today with another Photoshop tutorial. This one is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Um, we're going to be working with textures in this. So the first thing I've done, well actually let me explain textures. You can get uh, photo files that have a certain texture to them and you can open them up. You can change the color tones to suit the photo you want to use them on. And then you are going to add that texture to this photo. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in here. I have a photo I've taken a couple days ago of a dead flower in my yard with some ice on it from the ice storm that we recently had. And I also have a hard drive folder of Photoshop textures and accessories that I've collected over the years. There it is. I got this one more than 10 years ago and I believe that it was just a free download from the internet. If you go and Google free Photoshop textures, you'll get a whole bunch of these and most of them are free to use. So I had this one that I've had forever and I thought this would be a good one to use as a demonstration. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take my photo and um, we're gonna leave that up there. I'm gonna actually zoom out a little bit. It doesn't need to be quite that huge. And I chose this one because a lot of these blues and color tones are similar to what is in my photo. You don't have to do that, in fact, if you wanted just the texture and not the color tones, you could convert this to black and white so you're only getting the texture and not the color. But I'm going to leave this um, as is for this demonstration. So here's my photo. I'm going to go um, open your texture file, which I already have mine open. And then I'm just going to pop it down so it's over here. And then I'm going to take my move tool up here and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to literally click on the photo and drag and drop it onto my image. Now it's going to be very small because these texture files are small and my photo is a high resolution photo so it's large. And that's okay, we can work with that. So I'm going to move this again with my move tool up to the corner and those purple lines show that you are aligned properly. And then I'm going to go up here to edit, free transform and I'm gonna get all these little click boxes on my texture that I can use to resize this box. So on a Mac, I'm gonna hold my shift button and I'm gonna click here and hold that down and then I'm gonna pull with my mouse until the photo um, fills the entire surface. Now on this particular texture, I don't really care for the whites around the edges, so I'm going to continue to pull that down until they get, they disappear. And then I'm going to let go. I'm still holding shift. And then I'm going to click here and pull this up to get rid of those white areas as well. And then when I have it the way I want it, I'm going to hit enter. And doing that is going to create a new layer, which is my texture layer. And then I'm going to change my blending mode to overlay. And now my photo has this really interesting and unique texture. And if this is too strong of a texture, I can always turn down the opacity of that layer. You can also play around with different blending modes. I recommend overlay for textures, but you can play around and see what other kind of looks you can get. Um, you know, you never know what you may find. I would start with overlay though and go from there. And just like with other effects you can do, you can create a layer mask on your texture layer by clicking this little camera icon down below. And now we have a layer mask. With that selected, you're gonna go choose a paintbrush that is black. And I keep my opacity up pretty high when I'm erasing things in my image. And the size of your brush depends on the size of whatever you're erasing. So I'm going to just kind of run my brush over this just to kind of tone it down a little bit. And you'll see my original image popping through. And this can be achieved just by lowering the opacity of the texture. 
But if there's certain things you don't want or certain things you want to be really sharper and to kind of jump out from the texture, you're going to want to use your layer mask and your black paintbrush. And then when you're done, of course, you want to go up to layer and hit flatten to merge those two layers. And that's your finished image with a texture. If you have any questions um, or comments, leave them down below. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more um, photo editing tutorials and tips and tricks. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks, guys.